we are going to talk about functions. Kailan nga ba nagiging isang function ang isang near relation or ang isang relation? So if you want to know how, what are you waiting for? Buckle up because you're in for another fun math for run. Domain and range. The domain 
and the range. The independent and, uh, and the dependent variable, okay? So, dito, kung ano yung unang binaget, that is your independent variable. Ibig sabihin, yun yung element ng domain mo. So, you have the rule which assigns to each person. So, binaget nyo each person. So, bawat tao, the name of his or her uncle. So, this is your abscisa. And yung name na uh, uncle niya will serve as your Why? So, ikaw ba? Ilang tito ka meron? Di ba? Kung ako, marami akong uh, marami akong uncles. So, ibig sabihin, naulit ako. Na-pair up ako sa two or more na tito ko. So, ibig sabihin, this is just, this rule, okay, or this real life relationship is just a mere relation. Okay? Next. What about number two? The rule which assigns a chemical element to its chemical symbol. So the, the domain or the independent variable is the chemical element. And then yung chemical symbol mo, that is your Y. So bawat isang, ilang, ano, bawat isang chemical ele element, ilang chemical symbol sila meron. Di ba? Isa lang sa periodic table. So ibig sabihin, this uh, relationship shows a function. So this is an example of a function. Walang na ulit. Diba? No two ay uh, ito, chemical element, hindi siya mag-prepare up sa two or more na chemical symbol. Kasi kung ano na yung chemical symbol niya, yun na talaga yun. Tama? Okay? Uh, so, function siya. Next. So, number three. The rule which assigns to each cellular <laughs> cellular cellular phone unit its um, phone number. Now, ngayon kasi, nowadays, dati kasi, diba yung mga phone na yun, yung Nokia 3315, Uh, ano ba, mga Motorola, ganyan. Um, iisa lang yung SIM card. Eh, kasa kasi ngayon, yung mga ano, cellular phone unit ngayon, meron gumagamit na ng more than one SIM card. So, ibig sabihin, since, ayun, ito naman kasi yung ano mo, ito yung domain mo. Tapos, yung phone number yan, yung buhay mo. Ayan, ulitin ko, since meron ng mga cellphones na gumagamit ng two or more na SIMs, ibig sabihin, this cellular phone unit is fair to Maraming, ano, maraming holes. So, ulit siya. So, ibig sabihin, this is just a mere relation. Okay, so for the third part of the definition of a function is that uh, it involves the pairing of elements between two non-empty sets. Okay? Each element of the first set corresponds to a unique element of the second set. Ibig sabihin, every element na nasa domain mo is paired to an element na nasa second set mo. So, let's have an example. Which of the following mapping is a function? Okay, you have, ito sa example letter A. As you can see, every element na nasa set A mo ay paired sa respective na elements na nasa set B. And as you can notice, no two uh, order pairs um, has the same or have the same abscisa. Di ba, wala na ulit na abscisa dito. Wala na ulit na element dito. Okay? Hindi, bawat isa na element dito sa set A ay isang beses lang na na, ang tawag dito, na pair up dito sa second set mo. So, therefore, the mapping from A to B, okay, is an example of a function. Okay, next. Let's have example number two. You have sets C, you have C1 and C sub 2, and then you have the B, set B, whose elements are D1, D2, and D3. So notice that, dito sa ating element, dito sa, I mean, sa set C, notice that C sub 1 is paired to uh, dalawang elements dito sa set D mo. Ibig sabihin, okay, naulit siya. If we're going to write down the uh, order pair of this one, it will be like this. Okay, so yung order pair niya will be C sub 1, B sub 1, and then you have C sub 1, B sub 2, and then the other one is C sub 2 and D sub 3. So again, look at the ano, order pairs. Ayan, tingnan nyo, naulit ang C sub 1. So ibig sabihin, this example right here is just a, I mean, the mapping from C to D is just a mere relation. Okay, and our for a fourth uh, part of uh, definition of discussion of function, if a mathematical relation is expressed or represented by or in a graphical form, one can easily determine whether it is a function or not by simply using the vertical line test. A graph of a mathematical relation is a function if any vertical line 
mo sa more than one element doon sa y, uh, I mean, na-pair up siya sa more than one na coordinate. Okay? Kaya vertical line ang ginagamit natin. And, kaya mapapasin nyo, dito sa vertical line test na definition, ang sinasabi lang dito ay, okay, ayan, vertical line drawn passing through the graph intersects the graph at exactly one point. Okay? At exactly one point. So, isang beses lang para ang ibig sabihin nun ay hindi na ulit yung abscissa mo. Na-pair down lang siya ng isang beses doon sa value ng uh, ordinate. Okay? So, let's try doing that one dito sa example letter A natin. Let's draw a vertical line. Okay? So, gagamit tayo ng ibang kulay ng marker. Let's fuse the red one. Okay? Just draw a vertical line kahit saan. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, the vertical line, each of the vertical line, touches the graph at exactly one point lang. Ayan, ang bawat isang graph, bawat isang vertical line, tinamahan na yung graph ta ng isang beses lang. So, ibig sabihin, example letter A is a function. So, this is a function. Next, let's proceed to letter B. Okay, na natin, let's draw a vertical line. Okay, sa una pa lang, dalawang beses na agad sa tumawang sa graph. Dito, at yung up dito. Let's try another one. Okay, so, kung mapapansin ninyo, um, dito sa trino natin, nag-draw na tayo ng apat na vertical lines at kumatama talaga siya ng dalawang beses sa graph. At dapat, di ba, exactly one point lang. So, since kumama siya, ibig sabihin, yung value ng absisa ng nagigong part na to, yan, okay, nahulit yung value na yan, ng absisa na yan, na pair up siya dito sa value ng y dito at saka sa value ng y na nandito sa negative. Okay? So, therefore, this is an example of, I mean, example letter B is just a near relation. Okay? Next, for example, letter C. By inspection, alam na natin ang function yan, pero gagawin pa rin natin ang um, vertical line test. So, let's try. Ayun, isang test lang talaga sa tumama sa graph mo. So, ibig sabihin, that is a function. Okay, next. Letter D. You have a heart shape doon. Okay? Is it a function or just a mere relation? Okay? By inspection, alam na natin na mere relation lang yan. Let's try to plot the, I mean to draw the vertical line. Okay, so, ibig sabihin that graph is just a mere relation. Ayan, next. For our last example, you have E. Ayan, this is a, a, a special type of graph kasi kung mapapansin nyo, there is an open hole and there is a solid dot right here. Mathematically speaking, when you have a solid dot, it means that this ordered pair right here is a solution of the graph. On the other hand, kapag open dot naman, ibig sabihin, this point right here is not included sa solution mo. So, if I'm going to draw the vertical line, even if I'm going to place it like this one, Okay? It doesn't matter kahit pa tumama siya dito sa open dot at dito sa solid dot. Ang consider lang na natamaan dyan ay ang uh, itong solid dot mo lang. So, ibig sabihin, this is an example of a function. And that's it. Alright, so just to wrap it up, again, sa formal definition ng function, the first set is called as the domain of the function. Okay? It is, it is written as uh, D sub F of X. Okay? The domain of the function and then your second set is referred to as the range of the function which is written as uh, R F of X. Alright. Okay? The domain of the function serves as the input value to the rule or the given correspondence. And then the rule of the function parang, so if, if this is, ano, your domain serves as your input. Okay? So yan yung input value. Ito na ng rule of the function, this serves as your parang process. Pinaprocess na yung value ng input mo, yung domain mo, to give us an output which is expressed as y or f of x. Okay? So, itong range mo, this serves as your output. Now, uh, 
bayan. Okay? So, magiging output mo ay f of x. Again, this is read as f of x. Be careful, hindi yan fx. Hindi yan multiplication. Hindi yan f times x. Okay? So, that's it. That is a function. Again, no two ordered pairs have the same abscissa. Okay? So, that's it, mga masters. Watch out for my next video because I'll be talking about the domain and range of a function. So, I hope uh, that this uh, video helped you to get a good head start para sa inyong talking about function. So, again, this is Feliciana and everybody, what is fun? Bye, everyone! The storms we chase are leading us and love is all